We're here at Autosport International 2020 for the 70th anniversary of Autosport itself. We have a legendary F1 car with us, the Lotus 79, and I'm also joined by Giorgio Piola, technical illustrator extraordinaire, and Tony Southgate, who was the chief engineer for Lotus at the time. Now, Giorgio, you haven't seen Tony in a very, very long time. Uh, remind us of when that was. Yes, this is a great honor and pleasure to see one of the most beautiful cars in Formula One and to meet again Tony Southgate that he made the car, the previous one, the 78, that everybody consider like the mother of this car because with the 78, with Peter Wright, you invented something that, that was the base of the success of this car. Yes, the 78 was the first, what, what we call the wing car, uh, and that had been uh, really pioneered by uh, uh, Lotus and, and previously a little bit by BRM, and uh, the, it was a completely different car. Uh, total what we call a ground effect car and uh, it finally led to the 79. The 79 is a cleaned up version, a lightweight version. Uh, by it being light it was not quite so stiff etc but on the other hand it was a beautiful looking car and it won a lot of races. So did the 78 of course. But the big secret was not only to have a wing section but the seal of this area to create the Venturi tube. And that was you did on the 78 with the Peter Wright. Yeah, well that, that was the big thing. Uh, the, in the wind tunnel, uh, Peter uh, had established that if we could put an end plate effect on the wing and seal it to the ground, there was this dramatic increase in downforce, which there was, colossal. The only trouble was the car went up and down and you can't seal uh, the bodywork, so you'd have to have something that was flexible. Uh, so that was handed over to me and said, how are you going to do that? So I started by putting brushes there, nylon brushes uh, sealed, and uh, they half did the job because they were, could rub on the ground, because you've got to rub on the ground for a whole race, remember? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, I later put a diaphragm inside the, uh, the brushes because there wasn't a good enough seal. And then we uh, went a bit further, and with Peter, we came up with this uh, idea of having a polypropylene sheet of plastic that hinged and the hinge uh, had a rubbing strip on the bottom so it could rub on the ground all the time and uh, the, uh, the the hinge was spring loaded that was the secret it didn't just lie there on its own it was loaded yeah, yeah. onto the ground yeah. and so that it, it would maintain the best possible seal we could and that so, made a terrific difference so we can say that the secret was really this part of the car yes absolutely oh without that uh, it was still better, uh, much, still quite better than a conventional car, but the, uh, with the seal it was dramatically, it was like, we're talking like double, yeah, yeah. double the downforce. And uh, we finally ended up uh, uh, with this model, uh, 79, the end of which was started at the end of 1978, the, with uh, uh, sliding skirts with uh, ceramic rubbing strips yeah. and that was the big breakthrough yeah. you could go a whole race yeah. with it loaded pressed on the ground uh, uh, effectively getting perfect sealing yeah. and that was the massive breakthrough that was all done at Lotus of course yeah okay congratulations again a big emotion to see this beautiful car and the men that made this car becoming reality with your previous 78